this is one of the standout products here at IFA this year. It's LG's new V30 smartphone. Now, gone are some of the gimmicks from previous models. There's no side screen and there's no modular design. And the focus is very, very much on taking pictures and on shooting video. To that end, there are two new cameras on the back. There's a very deep and beautiful OLED screen and a lovely zoom feature by which you can pick a particular object or person in the distance and then the camera will very, very smoothly zoom in towards it. But the question for this phone, as with previous LG models, some of which have had cutting edge features but haven't really sold very well, is can it make inroads into a crowded and competitive smartphone market? I think LG has always been about choice. You know, it, it may not be number one in phones. It may not be, you know, the big, the thinnest, the cheapest, the brightest. I mean, there's a lot of things that we are not. But one thing we have always been is uh, giving people an alternative choice. And if two phones aren't really to your liking, and, you know, let's be honest, you know, two is not a large number then uh, you should really take a look at LG. First of all, I would not call it gimmicks because we really do feel that some of those features had a, had a reason. There are a lot of people who really did use the second screen uh, to the point where even though we were unable to uh, continue that due to the very, very narrow bezels that are happening in today's smartphones, uh, you know, the, the second screen just didn't have any space. But we were able to preserve that functionality uh, in another way, you know, with uh, always on display and uh, with a floating bar. So innovation forces you to change the way you were doing things in the past. But if people are actually saying, hey, I don't want you to get rid of that headphone jack or my second screen, then figure out a way to, you know, keep those people.